Hello, African people. My name is Tenelaine Wilson, and I am an unapologetically African woman. I'm the owner of Community Preparatory Academy and a 2019 Black Nificent Award recipient. Welcome to the Black Business Virtual Award Show. Let us give a round of applause to the King's Mountain BBX organizers. That would be Scott, Roger, and everyone involved in organizing the BBX. Okay, the BBX Awards is about a culture of being unapologetically African. It's about communalism and revolutionary consciousness and revolutionary action. The recipients are unapologetically African, resilient, determined, and committed to the culture. The Kings Mountain Black Business Expo Award is important and honors our leaders while they are living. This award is being about being chosen by your community. People that know you, that love you, and that value you. And that is powerful. So last year, I was reluctant to be blunt about specific issues. And my message was centered around a call for unity and organizing in the community. I laid out broad issues, but I was not specific about solutions. So too many intelligent African people are trained to produce for Europeans instead of how to be social engineers in their communities. This creates a deprivation of community resources. Uh, some may say, hmm, that's not true. But I challenge you to assess your communities or your childhood neighborhood. Dr. Amos Wilson stated, if you want to understand any problem in America, you need to focus on who profits from the problem, not who suffers from the problem. So before the transatlantic slave trade, uh, there were many successful African societies that were trading with one another, trading with other people, and developing through their own economy. And the Europeans destroyed, drained, and divided Africa by enslaving Africans, controlling their resources, and creating this capitalist system. The European slave buyers were enslaving young and healthy Africans. And areas of Africa were experiencing famine as Europeans were profiting off the labor of enslaved Africans. There were layers of violence that left Africa deprived, destitute, and divided. So this relationship between Europe and Africa served external economies and led to Africa's underdevelopment. This relationship evolved into what we see in America. The relationship evolved into the and seeped into our legal system, social structure, educational system, and the business world. White supremacy is at the root of everything in America. A nation built off the back of Africans. We don't want those tokens or we don't want those illusions. Our ancestors and leaders did not fight for tokens. They fought for equality. Okay? They didn't fight for us to have an opportunity to be degraded. They didn't fight for us to have an opportunity to continue to be traumatized and treated inferior or to be miseducated and robbed of our self-worth. So we don't want the illusions. The injustices of Breonna Taylor and Trayvon Martin, Elijah McClain, Ahmaud Arbery, Daniel Prue, Lacey Lennon, George Floyd, and many others are just examples of the illusion of citizenship in America. The same system that wrote the laws created systemic loopholes to absolve the domestic terrorism against our people. We need unity. And there can be no revolutionary action without revolutionary consciousness. But what happens when we unite? Egypt happened. The development of Egypt, the Shaka Zulu, you know, he built the nation. Timbuktu, a world-known educational center. Mansa Musa, an African's purchased a town uh, in Georgia. 
the nation of Islam was formed. Marcus Garvey formed the United Negro Improvement Association. Malcolm X formed the Organization of Afro-American Unity. Kwame, uh, Kwame Nkrumah founded the All African People's Revolutionary Party. And Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., he spearheaded the Civil Rights Movement. So this is what happens when we unite. We're amazing. So we have to remember we need to unite. We need unity. And there can be no revolutionary action without revolutionary consciousness. We have to remember that. So I want to talk about a clear pathway to success and six points I want to make. The first thing, we need a communal mentality. All African people unite. Together we are powerful and our ancestors built pyramids. I mean, Timbuktu, Black Bottle Street, and fought for our freedom. The back of the blacks led to Trump not being reelected. So this is not uncommon for us to fight for our freedom, to fight for what we want and to, to thrive. But that comes through communal mentality. This is about community. We, we must return to our roots. Uh, we must know you must know where you came from in order to understand where you're going. So we have to return to our roots. We have to return to that knowledge of our ancestors. We have to go all the way back to ancient Africa. I, uh, number two, uh, there should be no competition between our elders and our youth. We need each other. It is detrimental to think otherwise. Point number three, Malcolm X said this, Therefore, my faith is not in any politician or any white man to liberate me or my fellow Africans. So that 90% of African female uh, voters that voted for Biden-Harris ticket, um, the 80% African male voters that voted for the Biden-Harris ticket, we must see that same tenacity to meet the needs within our homes and our communities. That same tenacity. That, that united number that showed up in millions. We need that. Okay, item number four. There is no longer an ask. It is time to take the opportunity and do what is necessary. Europeans and ask to rob us, terrorize, kill, exploit, and stranglehold our resources. The terrorists just did it. Immediately after casting the ballots, there should have been organizing to protect, preserve, and make progress in our communities. Now, I understand that it can be very painful, very stressful, and tasking if we believe that we may see some of these things during our lifetime. And we have to understand it is not a sprint. It is most certainly a marathon. So the marathon continues, and we have to prepare and pour into the next generation of leaders and be prepared to pass the baton. Uh, number five, we must focus on economic empowerment and generational wealth. That does not happen with Europeans controlling the factors of production and our children being brainwashed by Eurocentric curriculum. Okay, number six, the family foundation is critical to the development of our children. Creating children should not be an activity, but a selfless commitment to parent, protect, and raise children to realize their greatest potential. In closing, we must deal with the people that that are just that's, that's destroying our communities. We must deal with the Confederate Negroes and the white supremacists. Last year, I made a plea. This year, I'm not trying to convince anyone uh, to do what is right for our people. This year, I caution you not to get caught on the wrong side of history. We need fearless leaders to develop grassroots organizations or connect with African organizations to elect people that reflect our communities. Okay, so it's, it's not an ask. We're moving forward this year. Okay, so don't get caught on the wrong side of history. Um, it is a mistake to wait until the next election to complain about who is on the ballot. It is a mistake for us to believe that we have people, these elected officials are going to be the saviors in our community. That is a 
very awful mistake, okay? We have to do the work in our communities. And please understand that there is work to do. And there cannot be revolutionary action without a revolutionary conscience. Thank you. When I think about the things that, you know, what's important to a community, I, I just want y'all to remember three things. It's simple. At the end of the day, you can look at it three ways. One, you can say, well, what have I done for the black community individually? Then you got to ask yourself, what have I done for the black community collectively? But if you ain't doing anything individually or collectively, the next question should be, who's doing anything for the black community? The BBX is doing all they can for the black community. I want everybody to start understanding when you see that symbol and it says BBX, that's what it is. It's the village. It's not racism. It's not racist. It's nothing to do. It's just putting our community first. You understand what I'm saying? Nobody needs any other. I'm, I've never apologized for putting my community first or my family. They come first. Charity starts at home. But it's time for us to start looking for resources, everybody. We got to have resources to survive. I ain't going to turn this into no sad weep story. I'm going to tell you right now. Buy black, be black, think black. Everything else take care of itself. Do what you can with what you have. Do it now. Take what you do best and do it for your people. And like it say on Mrs. Williams and my plaque, it says, improving the quality of life for yourself, your family, and community. With that being said, I'd like to thank my mom. I'd like to thank my daddy, my children, my family, my cousins, my community. It, the reason why I'm getting this award because I have a business called Community Connections. It can't be a business unless the community connects. You understand what I'm saying? That's it. I don't have to be the leader of anything, but the community has to connect. You're not going to get everybody. You're not going to get everybody. That is not what this is about. This is about getting like-minded people that understand that they must survive and ensure a future for their future children. And women, men, we got to stand up. I promise you, we, we don't have any choice at this particular late date. I mean, I'm not even going to mention who the president is right now. I think everybody know. You know, so that, that's no need for me to go there. But what we have is what we always had. Look to the left. Look to the right. Look at each other. Serious, this, this is what we got. If this is all we got, it's gonna be enough. That's all I can tell you. And, and with that, I'm gonna go ahead and close out. But what I'm gonna tell y'all is this, and at the end of this, I just want you to understand where I'm coming from. What must be done for black people must be done by black people. You understand? And that's the 2020 slogan for the BBX. And um, I can tell you right now, I'm done. I'm finished. I'm going to enjoy myself. Y'all stick around. Enjoy y'all self. We're going to eat some of Carlos Thompson's food from CJ's Grill. Give Roger a round of applause. It's hard to start stand up here and do this. He doing that. I ain't seen a note in his hand yet. Not a note in his hand. Very talented brother. He does video photography. and He is our media for this community. Shelton, you a bright young man. I love you. I, I truly do. That's the reason why. I told you, Destiny, you are the future. Your name is Destiny, and you got to show up with that. You know what I'm saying? That's just, when you, they name you Destiny, come on. You got to do what you got to do. Kiana, you always work hard. I'm sorry. I apologize. Earlier today on the phone, you didn't know I was going to apologize. But it get hectic, you know what I'm saying, when you're trying to do things. Um, to the Jordans, we really hadn't met, but I'm one of your biggest fans. I'm pulling for you. I think the business that you got, we all need to check in and have better nutrition. You understand what I'm saying? Tiffany, you keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. You and your daughter, that is unique. It's beautiful. Two beautiful women. Just keep on pushing and keep on pushing. Because you're going to make it. Because you keep pushing. You keep striving for the best. You keep doing that for your family. And I'm trying to think. Because I just named out, oh, your daughter, Kiana. Oh, come on. We got the youngest award winner we ever had. You think about that. Yeah, you think about that. The kids are going to remember this. And last but not least, Mrs. Wilson. See, I didn't even have to stand up here long and be black. Y'all lucky. 
Because she came tonight. She held it down. So I was able to just come up here and get this real loving <laughs> conversation and keep it moving. Is it anybody I miss? Oh, no. I said Pam first. She the queen. She the queen. I would never miss her, brother. I love you, Pam. I love you. I love you from deep from by my heart. Our DJ is Malik. Appreciate that. You're going to put it to spin on. You're going to keep it clean for, for us, though, right? All right. That's what's up. That's it, everybody. Just, you know, let's love each other. Let's um, black on black love. You know, I always got to have black on black crime. You love where you live. Uh, Roger, back up with you. On behalf of the BBX, UAP Radio, and our affiliated sponsors, I'd like to humbly thank everyone for tuning in to this year's annual 2020 BBX All Black Affair Award Show Gala. In lieu of the COVID-19 pandemic, we were unfortunately forced to not be able to do a physical award show presentation as we have done previously in years past. You can, however, head over to our UAP Radio YouTube channel to see our previously recorded award shows and BBX presentations highlighting the black businesses and entrepreneurs in the black community. So as we continually look for nominees for our Business of the Year, Innovator of the Year, our Danny R. McDowell Humanitarian of the Year, our Lifetime Achievement of the Year, and our Black Nificent Award recipients, we want to leave everyone with this year's 2021 BBX quote. Not all black people are going to stick together, but those who do will be the ones who build the future. Again, everybody, my name is Roger McLean, also known as Spaceman Stu. And if you are a black business owner or organization offering a service, product, or news for the black community, please contact me today at 704-418-1876 because I would love to be of service to you and my community by offering my photographic and video graphic design services as well as my media marketing capabilities as well. Again, stay black, beautiful, and brilliant, and we are out.